Cannon River winds its way through southeast Minnesota to the Mississippi River at Red Wing. The Cannon River carries tons of sediment to the Mississippi River every year. Some of the sediment settles out in Lake Pepin and puts the lake at risk of filling in completely. Near Northfield, farmer Mike Peterson understands the risk of erosion to the health of his soil and the waters downstream. Much, uh, I feed several watersheds that end up in the Cannon River. Goes through Lake Billsby and participates in Operation Fill Lake Pepin. So, I try not to get on that bus. <laughs> I can't put any dirt in Lake Pepin. <laughs> I don't have anything to give up. You know, pretty thin layer of topsoil. Um, it's fun to farm on, it's good to germinate seeds with. It's not a gravel subsoil, but I can't give up any topsoil. I've got to try to build it. I feel we lost too much through the 60s and 70s, and, and uh, my dad got pretty proactive in the end of the 70s and early 80s with uh, what happened with soil erosion and whatnot, and we've just adopted the tools that have come along since then. With help from the Conservation Stewardship Program, or CSP, Mike Peterson is managing his farm to conserve topsoil and protect waters downstream. Well, this is uh, my first year of uh, the enrollment in the CSP program. Um, the uh, sign-up process and, and uh, the format we've laid out has been an enjoyable experience. I appreciate the CSP program. It seems to be a program that fits uh, what we've been trying to accomplish over the years here. Uh, it uh, rewards uh, some of the stewardship that we had been doing with our our tillage practices and, and uh, some of our uh, theories and concepts on, on saving soil erosion and, and uh, not moving nutrients around off of the fields I farm. And it also is uh, rewarding me for some uh, newer practices that I wasn't already doing as far as laying aside some highly erodible ground that I could not seem to control the erosion while crop farming it. Mainly there are headlands going up and down the uh, I had to farm up and down the slopes and it was causing trouble. So the CSP program is helping me morph those acres into um, permanent cover while rewarding me for farming the, uh, the other acres I farm within a protocol. So um, seems to be a real valuable program I feel to water and soil health and uh, it's, it, uh, in my mind nothing that should be feared by agriculture across the nation. It's a program I'd like to continue. The Natural Resources Conservation Service is now taking applications for the program. Mike Peterson finds the program rewarding for innovative farm practices. It is also, it, it helps fund uh, uh, different means of, of tillage practices that for the most part are a little bit off the bubble or out of the norm. It takes away the uh, experimental phase of it when you bring it to reality, it, it gives you a cushion there. Uh, I'm real confident in our system, but if I wasn't, I would be willing to leap and try it with uh, respect to nutrient management and water quality. As I, I could use the program also as a safety net, but uh, we're pretty uh, tried and true in this tillage system, the zone tillage system. And uh, I don't have that anxiety, but the uh, CSP program would be an awful good tool, too, for experimentation and uh, turn out to be a reward for experimentation. Mm -hmm.